Terrell Millsap and I participated in the new house competition in 1998. My new house um, architecture's submission was a bridge that connected one of the parks in Chicago. I won the overall grand award for and then the other category I received an honorable mention for. My school actually won the most entries. So basically every single person who in my, in my class at junior level, senior level, almost everyone won either first, second or third place or overall grand. So not only did we win the most awards, we also won the New House Traveling Trophy and we were able to put our school's name on that trophy. The New House competition was a catalyst to my career. Um, winning that overall grand award, the, the prize was more than just a trophy. The prize was an internship, um, which allowed me to gain experience working under seasoned architects. I'm from the south side of Chicago originally, and I spent all my time on the south side of Chicago. Being downtown with all of these professionals just kind of broadened my horizons and opened my eyes to, you know, um, things out beyond my neighborhood, essentially. So it's, it's, I think, I don't think I would still be in architecture if I hadn't participated in this program, won this program, and gotten to, uh, to be in those in those offices that downtown in those high-rise buildings and everything like that so it's, it's, this this program is, is definitely a catalyst for success my name is milena marchan and i entered new house in 2017. i found out about the new house competition through my connection to the teen fellows program which is a youth educational program offered by the chicago architecture center i'm currently a third year architecture student at cornell uh, which academically has been a really great experience and kind of outside of the classroom is where I've developed my interest in real estate and development. And so in terms of my long-term professional goals, I would like to pursue a career in project management. I was previously just an alumni. I am also now a juror, which I think is a very exciting and kind of full circle experience for me to first, you know, be on the end of submitting a project and now being on the end of seeing people that were, you know, my age now uh, submitting their projects. And I think what makes Newhouse so special is that that judging process is, is done so equitably. It, it's not about your access to equipment or how well you're able to use 3D programming, but it's really about the design process itself and how you're able to define a problem and, and address it. Newhouse has had a significant impact on my career and my education and continues to even till today. It reaffirmed at the time that a career in design is something that I wanted to pursue long term. It was something I had so much fun doing and I think now it's, when I reflect on it, it's something that's also helped me develop my sense of belonging in the community. And so that community is, is, is really irreplaceable and I think we lift each other up and, and moving forward and, and diversifying the fields and, and, and helping us achieve each of our individual um, goals. My name is Steve Granda. I was a new house architecture participant in 2006. Uh, I decided to participate in the competition essentially because um, it looked really interesting, especially the modeling portion. So at that point, I think I had been taking, I believe, maybe one or two semesters of modeling. And uh, a friend of mine actually wanted to join as well. So we said, hey, let's uh, let's see what kind of cool ideas we can come up with for the competition. My teammate, Adam Ashradi, was like, hey, you know, I have this really cool idea for a kind of a split kind of building. We're just very down sloping. And then we went for an interesting style. We did a uh, cell shading. Uh, so I basically spent a long time in Photoshop with different layers and cutting things up. And uh, we did some really cool sh uh, cell shaded effects. So now I'm an engineer and I've, I've taken a few, I would say, uh, kind of like structural classes and, and whatnot. Like I look at it now and I get horrified thinking from my engineering kind of side. I'm like, this is never going to stand up. Like we are totally, yeah, it, it would just not stand up. But looking at it from an artistic point of view, I think it looks pretty cool still, especially that, that kind of glass kind of uh, slide where the triangle is that looks really cool. 
Part of the Newhouse architecture competition is you have an internship um, at the end of it. Because of that, that actually helped launch my career and get my first uh, internship uh, as a software engineer, essentially. And uh, from there, it just ended up snowballing into where I am now, I would say. But it really did help me launch my career. My name is Fernando Espinosa, and I was part of the Newhouse competition in 1993. I learned about it from my drafting instructor in Curie High School. He encouraged me to submit and compete into the competition and I entered a rendering, a 3D rendering of the 633C Clare Building located in Streeterville, Chicago, Illinois. The New Guns competition allowed me to create a self-interest in architecture not only did it give me an award and a diploma, it also gave me an internship. So that internship was very transformative and it allowed me to understand what the business of architecture was, the experience of being in an office setting, working with professionals, working with other interns, understanding what planning, architecture, an engineering profession really was and it transformed me, allowing me to continue my interest in architecture and some of my studies. And eventually I went to work for the city department of planning and development. And I'm currently a city planner with the central region, downtown area. And it's something that I dreamed about but I didn't think I could actually do until the Newhouse competition. It made me believe in myself. It made me think that what I could do, what I could dream, could become a reality.